guys, thanks for tuning in back into my channel. So today's topic is going to be on my skincare regimen, on the products that I use to cleanse my face, um, exfoliate, you know, moisturizers, etc. Um, how I take my makeup off. Pretty much this is just kind of showing you the way I take my makeup off, the way I put on my products, the products that I use, and why I use them. So, first things off, you always want to start off with a clean face. Either when you wake up in the morning, you got to wash your face. And at nighttime also. That's one thing, you know, that's very important. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and start off with my makeup removers. So, I would usually have my full face makeup like I do now. And I would just go in with um, my MAC wipes. These are what I use. I mean, you can use... Um, whatever you like. So it's either between my MAC wipes or my empty uh, <laughs> Clinique take the day off makeup remover. So between these, I go ahead and take this off. Usually one of these wipes will take pretty much a full face makeup. So I go ahead and do that. And then my next step is my Clinique rinse off foaming cleanser. And this is a pretty, like a, it's just a really soft, foamy, gentle cleanser. It helps take um, makeup off as well. So it's a cleanser and makeup remover as well. Uh, most of the products that I am using are going to be Clinique just because I used to work for them, um, you know, a couple, maybe like a year ago. And when I started using their products, um, I actually really like their products and I've seen really good results. So I've stayed using their products. So I'm not getting paid by Clinique or anybody else, so um, just to kind of throw that out there. But this is my Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser, and this is for combination oily skin. So this is what I use. I usually do my cleanser twice, just because I feel if I do it twice, uh, my skin just feels a little bit more cleaner. It just, I don't know, I just kind of do it twice, and just to kind of make sure that my skin feels clean. So then after I do my cleanser, I go in with my Chemical Exfoliant which is my Clinique Clarifying Lotion and number three for combination oily skin. And this is gonna pretty much exfoliate your skin, kinda just remove any excess. It's not like a toner because the toner removes any excess, but it also kinda works as a toner, but it's more of a exfoliant, so it's a chemical exfoliant. And then also what I do after I do that, um, my clarifying lotion with a little cotton ball, kind of swoop it all over my skin, let it dry a little bit. Um, and then maybe like a couple, I usually keep this in the shower. This is my seven day scrub cream. And usually when I'm in the shower, I go ahead and exfoliate, just, you know, get any dead skin cells off. And it also helps with any fine lines and wrinkles. Um, exfoliating also helps soften any fine lines and wrinkles as well. So I usually keep this in my shower. Um, it's not very gritty. It's kind of like a cream. It's, it's, God, just kind of hard to explain. It's kind of like a cream. It does have a little bit of the grittiness, but it's not as harsh as you would be using like a St. Ives um, scrub or you know like a sand texture. This is a little bit softer but I really like the way it leaves my skin after I get out of the shower. So after I do my clarifying lotion um, I go in with my moisturizer which is the um, dramatically different moisturizing gel which is for oily skin. They do have the um, dramatically different lotion which is for normal you know, normal to dry skin, but I use the gel because I have oily skin. So even though you're oily, you still have to moisturize so it'll help balance the water and oil in your skin as well. So just because you're oily, don't think you don't need to moisturize because you do. Um, so I use the, um, the moisturizer. After that, I usually take my repair wear laser focus which looks like this and this one helps with any um, UV damage fine lines and wrinkles um, I just think you know if you're gonna take care of your skin you might as well start now that we're young you know so when we do get older you know we're gonna have wrinkles and stuff but it won't be you know as bad as starting when you're really old and you're really trying to take care of these wrinkles so I always recommend at least doing an anti-aging cream or serum so pretty much what the Repair Wear Laser Focus is a serum, and you can use it twice a day, which I do day and night. So I apply that, and when I apply it, I just kind of 
do tapping motions all over my face like this. And the reason I do that is just because um, it'll penetrate the serum deeper into the skin by doing tapping motions as well. And then I would go in with my Repair Wear Laser Focus Eye Cream, which I only apply on the bottom here. And I do dabbing motions like this as well on both sides. And I use this eye cream day and night. So I would do the same steps just during the day after I do my eye cream and everything. I would do my even better skin tone correcting lotion with SPF 20. You, I always recommend doing an SPF just because the sun is the major cause of UV damage and you know fine lines and wrinkles and freckles and all that good stuff. You know, so it does help having a little bit of a SPF and you know your moisturizer. So this is the one I use, and then I also. Um, Moisturize my lips with just any kind of Vaseline chapstick. So when I do exfoliate, I exfoliate my lips as well because I tend to get really chapped on my lips. So this is my complete, um, you know, products that I use for, you know, my daytime and nighttime skincare regimen. I've been doing this for about two years, so I've been using the products for two years consistently, and I really love the way it's actually left my skin. Um, it's a lot smoother, my skin's a lot more even, you know, just because I'm a makeup artist, and you know, I just, I love the makeup. So I put it on anyways. So, um, but yeah, I've been using these products for a long, long time, and everybody that knows me, knows that, you know, I do reviews honestly. Like, I will use stuff and I will let you know if they work, if I like them. You know, everybody's different, but usually if they work for me, I'll go ahead and do a review. Um, sometimes I might be a little bit late on certain products and things, but, you know, I'm not like any other YouTube guru on here, you know, that has money to go buy certain things or, you know, people send you free things. Like, I don't. I have to work. I have a family. And, you know, the videos that I do do, you know, they're really honest videos for you guys. And I really hope that you guys enjoy them. And, um, yeah. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, please leave some comments down below. If they're rude ones or not, whatever. Um, so just thanks for tuning in. Um, don't forget to subscribe. So go ahead and click the button up there that says subscribe so you can be notified of any videos that I might upload. They're not constant, but when I do, um, I do upload my videos. So thank you so much for everybody that's been supporting me. And yeah, until my next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.